Shalom, it's Tehila from the Kifar. I've been teaching Hebrew online since 2015, and I also help teachers teach language online, and you can learn more by visiting thekifar.com slash teaching language online. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple way that you can add animation to tables so that the data is revealed row by row or column by column, as opposed to having to animate the entire table. And you can also use this trick to animate just individual cells if you don't wanna do complete columns or rows. I'm using Keynote for Mac, but this trick works exactly the same way for PowerPoint and almost exactly the same way for Google Slides, and I'll show you slides at the end. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is decide which rows or columns or cells you want to animate. So with my table, I want the labels and this first column to be visible from the start, and then I wanna animate these last three columns so that I can make them pop up later. So since I wanna animate three columns, I'm gonna make three copies of this original table. If you wanna animate five rows, make five copies, seven cells, seven copies, et cetera. Okay, so I'm gonna click my table and make my three copies. Okay, so once you have your table copies, go back to your first table and you're gonna delete all of the rows or columns or cells that you plan to animate. So I'm gonna delete all of these then you're gonna take one of the table copies, it doesn't matter which one, and you're gonna delete everything except for the first part that you wanna animate. So here's the first column I wanna animate, so I'm gonna delete everything else, then add my animation. And you wanna pick something like appear or dissolve. If you have it fly in or do something else, it's gonna be obvious that you have tables on top of tables instead of just looking like an animation. So it really just depends on the kind of look that you want. So I'm gonna just do dissolve, so it'll just pop up. And then we're gonna pop it right over that first table. And we're gonna do the same with another copy. We're gonna delete everything except for the second thing that we want animated. Add our animation and pop that over the tables. And for this last one, I'll do a different type of animation to where you can see the difference in when you have it just dissolve or appear as opposed to something maybe a little fancier, but it'll be evident that you have multiple tables. So here, delete everything except for that last column. We are gonna do fade and move. Okay, so now it looks exactly like a regular table, just like it did before. But now when we present or hit play, you see that we have added animation for each text. Okay, and now with this last one, you were able to see the table movement. So if you don't want that, then you wanna pick something like, you know, dissolve or just appear. If it doesn't matter to you, then you can go crazy. Okay, so super easy. And again, you would do this same thing for PowerPoint. You follow the same exact steps. Now for Google Slides, the one minor change is that when you delete the content of a row or a column, like what we did in order to stack the tables on top of each other, it deletes the entire row or the column itself instead of just leaving it blank. So all you have to do here is essentially just drag and line up the rows or the columns until you've essentially recreated the table just in pieces. So let's say I wanna start with this first row. So I've deleted that. Here's my second table the first piece that I wanna animate. And as you can see, it's deleting the rows. So you just drag it manually to recreate the table. Okay, and then to add the animation for each piece, you just click on whatever row or column you want, hit animate and select your animation. Okay, so that's it. A neat little workaround that you can use to animate just the content of tables as opposed to the table as a whole. So if you found this helpful, like this video and share it with a colleague. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos related to teaching language online. And for additional resources and support, visit thekifar.com slash teaching language online. And the link is also below in the video description. So that is all for today. And I'll see you for the next video. L'Hitraot.